Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day 128. Ride's over, sun's out, it's Tuesday. Whew. Yesterday was kind of a crazy day. Um, boring for your video, but just like lots of stuff in office going on. And um, trying to get everything lined out, right? We leave here soon. So that's kind of our focus of everything. So today, as I'm riding my bike, a lot of times that's when like, I do this on the motorcycle too. That's my thinking time, right? It's just me, the road. So this morning I'm out on the bicycle and I'm doing the same thing. So I was thinking back to a conversation that um, Brian, you've seen him on here, my buddy and I were having. And uh, you know, him and his girl, they have motorcycle and they ride um, and they, they love it. Um, but they don't love it like I do. So we were having this conversation and you know, my entire life is motorcycles from sun up to sundown and I dream about them as well. So I mean, my job, um, my recreation, everything, it revolves around motorcycles. And um, the funny thing is like he's, he talks about going on a three or 400 mile ride and like, man, that's, you know, that's a lot. And to do it repeatedly, like for Route 66, that's gonna be a lot on him and them. And I'm like, he's like, I don't see how you do it. I don't see how you are gone for like three months and every day you're riding your motorcycle. And the funny thing is for me, there's really nothing else I would rather do. I mean, literally, there's nothing more I would rather do than get up every day and get on my motorcycle. If I could do that, and never have to spend any time in the office, I completely would. So for me, it's a passion. I just love riding motorcycles. I love work. I love working on them. I love talking about them. I love looking at them and I love riding them. Um, all things motorcycle. So it's not really that big of a deal or that big of a challenge for me to do this on a daily basis. But, you know, I never really thought about that from like his standpoint of, I don't see how you do it. I just couldn't do it. I don't love it enough. I get that so like I said that was what was on my mind this morning just because uh, I am fortunate to do what I do and love what I do that makes my life a whole lot easier um, do you love what you do anyway it's time for some coffee I love that too so uh, I'm gonna go get some we'll see you in a few hi guys Tuesday evening so today's mission was I started putting together the Route 66 map. Now, of course, Route 66 is mapped out in many places, but I'm putting together a Google map um, so that people can just put it in their phone. They can go to the website, they can click on it, it'll go into their phone, and it'll give them turn-by-turn -turn directions to run Route 66. And then, of course, it'll have um, where we're stopping along the way, the hotels, all that built into the map. <sighs> Today was day one. I spent all day on it. I got day one done. Um, I think I'm still having some people test it out and see if it turned out right because what a pain in the ass um, I'm sure there are easier ways I'm using Google Maps because that's what we used on Route 66 except we had Brian Blacktop Devil do it and um, he did a really great job everything worked really good um, I don't know how he did it. He's obviously way better at this than I am because I've had nothing but trouble. It's been an absolute pain in the ass today. Um, every time I would get a section of it done, I would save it and then I'd go back in and it had switched my route to the highways. Like, you know, in Missouri, there's I-44 and then Route 66 runs next to I-44. It's called Old Route 66. So I went through, drug all of the lines to Old Route 66, made sure they were all on, hit save, went back in, and they're all back on 44. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I've, I've looked at videos, I've read, I've read articles, I have done everything under the sun to try to figure this out. And uh, so far, I am not having a whole lot of luck. So probably just take somebody smarter than me and uh, you know, that doesn't surprise me at all. So anyway, that's what I'm working on today, tomorrow, the rest of this week. We're wanting it all done by next Tuesday, I think is my date to have it all done. 
because we're going to do another live and uh, then on that live we will you know we'll let our riders have access to the map and uh, you know we'll do all some more announcements and more talking about what's happening on route 66 so it's something that i need to get done got to get done this week and uh, right now man i'm struggling to get to get what i want to say i'm struggling to get to make progress i feel like i am spending all this time spinning my wheels and I'm not making progress. It does not feel like I'm moving forward. It feels like I'm stuck in the same place I was eight hours ago today. So um, that's pretty frustrating. If any of you guys know um, Google Maps really well, um, comment below. Uh, I may reach out to you to ask you questions because I mean everything I'm doing just seems to seems to be not working even like when i have the map saved then i go try to pull it up on my phone and i'm having difficulties getting it on my phone i'm just like i said there's something i'm missing um i don't know what it is yet and uh it's just frustrating i'm frustrated i'm pissed off it's about time to eat and i'm not 100 percent sure i think i might have a live tonight on support bikers content creators let's check our messages um, I did not get a message back, so I'm not 100% sure. I thought it was tonight, um, but uh, I haven't seen anything on it today, and uh, I was just supposed to be a guest. Uh, it's all about comments. Like, what do you do with people that comment badly or, um, you know, all of the trolls on uh, your videos? Uh, this will be a really good live stream because Mama Badger and myself, we stand on opposite ends of this um, argument. So Angie is be nice to him, kill him with kindness. I am, fuck that motherfucker. Um, I will argue with you. <laughs> I will not let you talk shit. Um, you know, I will, uh, I will go after you. I will defend myself. I will defend my wife. I will defend my friends. I will defend my kids. Um, whatever it is that you go after, I'm going to defend it. So, um, we just stand on opposite ends of the spectrum there. So I can't tell you how many times a week Angie's like, why did you not just let that go? Because, you know, why? So they can sit in their basement behind their keyboard and just think that there's, you know, something special, uh, you know until until it just becomes an attention grab and then I just delete them. I had one of those today. A guy wrote like this half a book on one of my repair videos telling me how wrong I was and how nobody should watch me. The funny thing is it probably took him 30 minutes to make this um, this comment and it took me 30 seconds to delete the comment and remove him from the channel. So um, there was a bit of satisfaction in that, I must admit. Anyway, I've rambled on and on. Um, that's it. We will see you tomorrow.